Uh, hi. Today I have a combination lock for you guys. It's a four wheel combination lock called probably Hubbo. I don't know, but I will call it Hubbo. It's a model number 20355. And on the picture you can see it's probably it's indoor outdoor outdoor use. Two locking bars. Uh, we'll see about that. 8 mm shackle, hardened steel, and the interesting one it's a like pin code 1234. Usually it's like 000, and you can change the combination from here. Um, interesting picture with different locks. And here's the article number 17346. Uh, nothing interesting here. Here's the dimensions. It's a 55 millimeter lock, so that means 55. Here's here, can you can set the code or reset the code going clockwise and then, uh, yeah, and counterclockwise with a screwdriver. And small things, big difference. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. So let me show you the lock. Sorry about that. So here's the lock, here's how it work. It's how you can change the, and here, let me, so let me lock it. You can see that small bar moving. So and it's a spring loaded one. And there are two of them on the left and right side, but I will show you how you can shim them and you need to do it only on one side. So let me you can use uh what is it? Screwdriver? Yeah, screwdrivers or or maybe coin, but I do have I don't have a coin, so I will use a key. And let's scramble a bit, like change the code. Everything seems in the proper gates. Now let's lock it, scramble again. And I will first show, show you how can you can easily decode this one. Uh, let me arrange 0, 0, 0. I like to start with 0, 0, 0. I don't know why. A uh, homemade tin shim or yeah very thin so you just put it like this on the bottom side and you just scroll and you will feel a uh, shim going in some kind of a gap uh, I think it's and this is the only trickiest part to figure it out if it's a 8 or 7 or 9 but I think it's 8 So let me check the second one. Wait. It felt into five or six. No, I think it's a five. It's not a four. I think it's five. The next one, the third wheel. Okay, so it's a zero or one it's probably a zero I'm not sure we'll see and the last one it's a nine or it's a eight or it's a zero no it's not let me try to open it no so let me find out if it's a seven, no. Eight, no, it's nine. So let me check the five. No, it's six. Did I move all of them? So it's not zero, it's nine. Yeah, I move. I was feeling the left side. Or it's a zero. Or it was one. Probably it's one and and it's zero. Yes. So one number. So I was off by one number because of the position of my uh, shim. So it's nine six one zero. But that that's a hard way to do it. So if I lock it. I will show you how you need to open it. So you go 
with the shim not on the right side, on the left side. Even there are two locking bars, you need to move their spring loaded or the left one is moving the right one. So you just insert the seam like this and you turn clockwise till somehow here in that position and you just move the shackle. So here it is. So you can see the left, the right one, it's moved. So if I remove the shim, you will see the right one popping up. So if I again insert the shim from this side and I'll try to show you when I start moving. Here it's how this side it's moving that bar, locking bar. So it's like not not a three locking bar, it's somehow two locking bars. So yeah, that was the Habo 203 55 millimeter uh, combination padlock decoded and open with a shim so yeah uh, not that good one so you, if you can avoid it please avoid it and buy another one so yeah guys thanks for watching have a nice day have a nice speaking and bye bye